Hi guys, this is Nautix, and today I'm gonna make you kind of a review of the power bank that I've got today. It's the Mi Power Bank RM79, and it got 16,000 milliamp hours. Okay, so first, the package. It came in this, which uh, doesn't really look very amazing, right? But it's uh, it's just a white box with some text on the side which actually says exactly the same as the power bank itself and when you open it, um, let me just open very quickly Yep, there's just this plastic um, well, this plastic thing and uh, in this plastic, well it's not, it's not even very solid in this plastic thing there was a power bank and a cable, I will show you both later and there was this little thing which is completely in Chinese and I'm really unsure about what it says in the first place but uh, whatever, it's not really important I guess, uh, I hope I showed it on the camera okay, you can see it right here and on the other hand I have no idea what it says I mean, sorry, I just can't speak Chinese um, so this is about the box, okay, you can see that that's uh, it's kind of it's kind of big, you know. It's it's big like a smaller tablet. Okay, now for the power for the power bank. Okay, here's the power bank and the cable that it comes with. This cable it's it's pretty it's pretty short, so it might be good for recharging, but it's definitely um, it's good when you have like when you have this in pocket to get with your with your phone, then it might be good. But if you if you want to take the phone. To your hand or something like that it's kind of short but I'm pretty sure your phone came with a USB cable USB cable for recharging so that shouldn't really be a big deal I mean this is this is primarily for recharging the power bank itself so let me show you the the front side very quickly I hope it will oh yeah it focused okay, good so this is what it looks like uh, the button you can see that the button is not exactly straight it's kind of it's kind of uh, it's not exactly straight, but it's, that's fine, whatever. Um, it got these, you know, two USBs, both of them are 5 volts and 2.1 uh, amp. Uh, together they can, they can give you the maximum of, uh, I think it was 3.6 amp. And that's actually, that's actually quite a lot. And uh, this is the recharging, the recharging port, and these are the LEDs that pretty much tell you how much battery you've got left. Um, you, you can read that in Chinese, of course, but you can read that in the manual. Uh, if it will focus again, yeah, cool. Uh, this is what it says on the back, it's basically the web page, me.com, I mean, it looks like ml, but it's it's mi.com, and in the front, there, on the front, on the front side, there's uh, this logo, which is basically their logo, and not nothing much more <clears throat> on the bottom however well bottom yeah i guess it's bottom uh, there there are some specifications and uh, some details about the product so you can see that it has uh, 16000 milliamp hours and it also says 3.75 volts and i have no idea what that means what that what that means because right here uh, there's if if it's focused enough you can see that it says that the input is 5 volts, 5.5.0 volts, and 2 um, two amps, and the output is uh, there are two outputs, and each of them is 5.1 volt and 2.1 amps. So, um, and yet yeah, there you can see that together they can give you the max the maximum of 3.6 amps, <clears throat> nothing more. So you can really use it to get 4.2 amps, but you don't need it at all. Uh, there is something else written. I have no um, no idea what it means. I mean, yeah, it's it's kind of like that the minimum should be um, fifteen thousand for like there is some tolerance that the capacity might uh, the capacity might be slightly less, but that doesn't really matter. And yeah, there there's some other stuff written on it, but it doesn't really matter. So, I'm gonna show you very quickly, I'm not gonna show you recharging because it's fully charged, well, almost fully charged, so you wouldn't really see very much, but I'm gonna show you what, how it works. So first, I'm gonna pick up generic, uh, generic Android device, uh, which is my phone, obviously. Uh, it's a little Asus, uh, it's the Asus uh, Zenfone 5. It's a pretty big-ass phone. 
and I'm going to take the cable. It has the standard um, micro USB, the same one that actually this cable has the same one, so you can use this to recharge Android devices. Well, at least most of them. And when you when you plug this, it goes easily in, and you can see that it's turned on. And um, well, I haven't really plugged it correctly because I'm stupid. And you can see that it's recharging. Yeah, well, if it, yeah, it's focused. You can see. You can see that it's recharging. And well, I currently have almost full battery, but it's still recharging. So this is what it what it looks like on your phone. You can see that it's light up, so it's uh, actually recharging. And you can see here those LEDs. Um, those LEDs show you that the battery is currently almost well. It's 75 uh, from 75 percent to 100 percent charged. Not the device, but the battery, the, the power bank. So this is the this is the first slot. These slots are equal, and those ports are basically mirrored. So I show you. You can see that this one is like this, and well, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was out of the camera. Um, this one is like this, and the other one is the other way. But it doesn't matter. It's uh, I mean, I can't really see the reason why they made it like this, but apparently it was a good idea. Whatever. Uh, so this is about the Android, and now I will come up with something that you probably haven't seen for centuries, which is the iPod Touch fourth generation, which was my old, uh, old, old mobile device before I got this phone. I've actually used this for like internet and, and whatever. So you can see that as well as a Android device, the cable goes in. Well, the cable goes in really easily without any issues. It fits just like in any other USB, and we can plug it, and you can see that it turns on, yeah. The battery is uh, like, I don't know, 50% charged, I don't know, I haven't used it for like, um, I don't know, two years, perhaps? No, actually no, it's like a year or so. So you can see that it's recharging, <clears throat> I mean, it hasn't really started yet, but it's recharging. And now when we plug both of those together at the same time, they will actually be recharging at the same time, both of them, without any... Wait, let me just... Um, you can see that both of these are recharging. That doesn't really have to be on. Um, of course, because it's the old iPod Touch, it, yeah, okay, good. You can, you can see that... Well, you can't really see it for some reason. Um, there is this button which which shows you the amount of oh you can you can hear that sound that's the sound of that's the sound of recharging if you don't have uh, i device. There is this button, but it the only purpose that this button is here for is that when you when you are not recharging anything and you want to know how much battery you got, you basically press the button, and that's that's the only reason why you have it for. So you can see that Android device is recharging and. Apple device is recharging as well. Okay, so we've got two devices at the same time recharging. It still says, <clears throat> it still shows you how much battery you've got left. Um, it fits perfectly. You can put that in the pocket. However, it's kind of heavy. It's it's pretty heavy actually. I mean, it's it's not like you couldn't put that in your pocket. But if you put this in your pocket together with your phone, which weighs like half of this weight. And it might get a little heavy, and it might start dragging your pants down. I mean, whatever you wear, like jeans, but kind of. I mean, I wouldn't put them together in one pocket. It's just, it's just too heavy. But of course, it depends on you. But if you use this in like I don't know, a car or something, could be good. Could be good. Could be pretty good. Or on a bike, perhaps. So you can see that we have um, this one. Um, what's it called? Yeah, the one power bank recharging two devices at the same time, both Android, both Android and um, Apple device. Um, it's not, it's not really heating up. It has a, it has pretty good temperature. I would say it's, it's the room temperature. It's not really heating up. Neither one of these devices is heat, heating up, so it, it works really well. Um, with pretty much any device that you can plug into the USB. You can you can see there the amount of battery left, and that's pretty much all you need. So <clears throat> thanks for watching, guys. And if you're thinking about ordering this um, 
ordering this power bank, well, then I can only recommend you to buy it because actually it seems that it works pretty well and actually it will last for really long. Like, I'm honestly surprised for how long it lasts. I mean, I knew it's gonna last for long, it's, it's 16,000 milliamp hours, but still, pretty nice. Um, yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching and um, have a nice day, I guess.